Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pabla. Hey, I'm back with、uh, Yek Yek and Jason Johnson. They're both film critics from my paper and the new paper, respectively. We're talking about Hollywood remakes of Asian films. Now, what do you think defines Asian horror? Okay, a、uh, uh, long-haired <laughs> woman,、uh, ideally without a face.、Uh, that's scary. And little girls. Let's、yeah. not forget the little girls. And sometimes the old ladies. That's important too. <laughs> Yeah, but it's 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 the piv- the quintessential Asian horror character is that long hair girl. Okay, but what about aesthetically? Do you think that there are very slow build ups and?、Um, I think if you look at the Japanese to- horror films, they pay a lot more attention, obviously, to the composition,、mm. color palettes, pacing, all this kind of stuff. It seems more methodically thought out, and it seems much more. If you're going to use the word aesthetic, they seem much more aesthetic.、Mm. I mean, something like the Ring or Ju On. They're aesthetic pieces. They're beautiful pieces. They're beautifully constructed,、mm. and some of the shots are just nice to stare at as just being beautiful shots.、Okay. I'm thinking of that shot in Ju On where the girl's in the bed, and she's got the one ghost coming over here,、yeah. and the、uh, the boy sitting on the bed. It all seems very、yeah. thoughtfully composed, you know. Whereas in America, of course, what you get is a lot of chong.、Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And people running, screaming.、Yeah. Craziness, blood. You、yeah. know. Why are Americans so obsessed with serial killer types, like the fun, like the ones you find in Scream or Saw? Or,、um, I know what well, you're talking about. Serial killer. The serial killer. It's it's a real and mythical art form in the United States.、Mm. Mm. Okay, <laughs> but why? Why the obsession? I'm asking the. Semi, <laughs> the North American, the semi, the semi American, set Mexico. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Why are they obsessed with serial、yeah. killers? I think that for some people, if this doesn't sound too creepy, it's an empowerment fantasy. I think it's an outlet for people who have maybe crazy thoughts or crazy feelings. <laughs> that it's like let's go on a little rampage <laughs> together. No, not me. I don't even like these movies. <laughs> But I'm thinking that that's a lot of. A, Because America is a land of individualism and individual power, and who's got more power than these serial killers, who have all these special、mm. powers and can take down anybody who looks at them cross-eyed, and they can just go on these terrible rampages. You know, it's it's a bit like Rambo, but with a scary mask and some claws and some freaky, you know, dream sequences and stuff like that. It's a similar sort of thing.、Mm. Interesting. What about us Asians? Why aren't we taken in? We don't have a single franchise. Revolving around serial killers,、uh, not that clear cut. There may have been some, because it's an expression. Okay, basically, a serial killing is an expression of individuality, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So、um, we, we <laughs> but in a bad yeah, way. Yeah, in a bad way. Let's in a bad way. That. In a bad way. It's、but、bad. Over here, over here, the horror that we have comes out of、uh, a, a lot of them are from folk, which I'm sure in America, in the United、oh. States, they do that too. But The depiction we like to do.、Um, the long-haired、uh, girl comes. It came out of Japan, and then after, and then Japanese no, folktales. No, it didn't just come out of Japan. I mean, it's very popular. It's it's pretty popular in Chinese cinema and especially Malay cinema. Right, but I'm talking about it coming out in a big way. Oh, okay. In in a horror film way. Yeah. And then then the 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 Koreans have it. Okay, later on, um, um, we also even in our own. Horror films, we take that as a as the way a ghost should look like. Okay. Why is that? I I really don't think that we should, we need to do that. In Shutter is almost same thing, you know. On a, yeah. Why are we、hair. so obsessed、yeah. with that image? You know what? What? Why? why? You, there's never. I used then. There's never been a guy ghost. Yeah. Guy ghost on set. Nobody cares. Maybe that's the next thing. Maybe、yeah. that's the next boom. The They've got to reinvigorate、ghost. this thing. Yeah. Some dude with long hair. He's also a serial killer. Yeah, yeah. That? And with long hair. With yeah, long hair. Yeah. You know, J. Edgar Hoover coming back. It won't、yeah. work in America or in Asia, but somewhere in between, like the Middle East. No, so, so <laughs> why? <laughs> Then you have the little children. Yeah, did you? You see, and also we we are talking mostly about Japanese and Korean. The Thais are now coming out their own forms.、Mm. Their their horror films involve also a lot of slashing and gore. You know the the Philippine Philipp,、uh, Philippines has their own horror film、uh, for you know、uh, a few of them too. So you know it's, it's quite. Does Thai horror、nice. involve a lot of slashing and gore? They they do involve a lot of slashing now. 
Really? Yeah, especially when a person is cutting up some person, you know, like dismemberment and all that. I can't recall, but the reason I can't think it because what's that? Okay, what is that? Phobia. 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 That didn't have a lot of slash. Out of the devil. Out of the devil. Oh, that was okay, a crazy the movie. Man. There were a few yeah. others after that, which I remember I saw um, something about a, 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 a haunt. Um, don't know whether it's a house or, or whatever, you know, it's all a haunt. So they, they do that. In fact, the Thais like, like to do that. I don't think it's caught on yet. But if you see a Thai horror film, it has okay. got that, that kind of, um, that kind of um, <coughs> visual element to it. Okay. One thing I noticed about Asian horror films is that we always, uh, there's always a sense that the spirits live among us. Mm. And, and that they're everywhere and that Asians seem to accept that <coughs> as a fact of life. Mm. Karma. Mm. Karma mm. plays yeah. a part in Asian horror film, especially in the Thai. <coughs> right. But when it's translated to uh, American films, American audience seem to have no problem accepting that. Did I don't know. Like When I first knew I was coming on the show, the first thing I thought when I was thinking of the difference was that <coughs> the first thing I said, I was talking to one of my colleagues and I said, in Asia, it seems like people actually still sort of believe in ghosts more. Or it, oh, seems, yeah, it seems more a part of everyday life. Right. And so it seems like it's woven into the fabric of the, the cultures, the various cultures. And so that's why you'll get the ghosts in the house and in the technology and here and there. They're just part of everyday things. Mm. Whereas in the Hollywood films, if, if I'm thinking correctly, it's more like there's some malevolent force of nature that comes out of nowhere and sort of disrupts everything. And it's more like something coming from outside coming in whereas in the Asian films it seems to be just it's something that saturated the, the society already so mm. that, that seems to me sort of a that's major difference that's very interesting yeah uh, in, in, this is a side point but I, I I met somebody who says he can see ghosts uh. and uh, I, I trust him for various <laughs> reasons he just seems like a very trustworthy person but he says <laughs> but he's lived in the US <laughs> he's lived in the US he's Asian but mm. he's lived in the US for many years and then we were just talking, and he said, um, uh, he was talking about Puntianas, and, mm. and he said that th they're a very real threat, <laughs> especially if you live in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Kampong. So if you see something in the trees, you better run. And I said, uh, oh, okay, what about in Singapore? He says, in general, Asians, Asia, there are a lot of spirits in Asia. He sees a lot of spirits in Asia. Yeah. But when he went to study in the US, he hardly saw, <laughs> no, he saw some, but they tend to be like in, in houses, like one house, and then you know, and right, isolated, sort of, I, isolated, sort of isolated places. But yeah. he generally didn't see them, but he sees them all the time here. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe but there might be something to it. Right. Yeah, but we don't know. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you. We've got one more segment. Join us for the last one. <laughs> Larry Daly is back. Folks, we're giving out 30 pairs of tickets tonight at the Museum 2. The preview is taking place on the 20th of May at 7.15pm at Vivo City. You can win a pair just by emailing the answer to this question. Who plays Amelia Earhart in Night at the Museum 2? Is it A. Amy Adams, B. Meryl Streep, or C. Fei Wong? Send your answer to RazorTV at sph.com.sg before 18th of May. This place is lame. Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Butler!